As Ellis approached the northern portal, we used a large temporary frame to support the head wall. And once that was removed, then we supported Ellis on temporary steel and concrete cradles. Um, they also supported her as she was turned around and slid on the steel floor to the new tunnel. The northern portal at Waterview is about 42 meters by 42 meters square, and Ellis is over 90 meters long. So in order to turn her around, we had to figure out how we could break her into the various components and then fit each of those components around as we spun around to start Tunnel 2. Uh, so that, that required some real good communication, good planning, as well as uh, detailed drawings and drafting and, and just modeling of everything just to make sure we identified any clashes. Now that the TBM turnaround is complete, most of this temporary work steel will reuse it uh, on the rest of the project. For example, at the arrival of the southern portal, we'll reuse a lot of it. My team played a pretty big part in the uh, success of the TBM turnaround by delivering all the temporary works designs on time and uh, well enough ahead so we had enough time to fabricate a lot of the extensive steel works in time for Ellis when she arrived. For me, I can feel proud to be a part of uh, the Well Connected Alliance and work on such a mega scale project. It's been great to work in, inside the team that I'm with and at times it's been very challenging, but it's made it that much more rewarding to deliver the uh, significant designs we've had on time, in budget and safely as well. The turnaround of Alice was quite unique in, in the fact that it was such a large TBM to be turning around. It's been done before with smaller TBMs. Combine that with the fact we didn't have much room at all. We had a 90 metre TBM with a 40 metre space to turn it around it. So we had to break it up into discrete chunks and then do a partial turn of the, the main shield and the first backup gantry, go for 250 metres and then turn the rest of the machine around. That meant for that first 250 metres, half the machine was in one tunnel the other half was in another tunnel. So we had to have temporary connections and we also brought in another uh, temporary backup gantry called 2.1, which was set up on the top of a wall, 10 metres high and launched off in behind the initial drive. That allowed us to run for 250 metres and then do the second turn. One of the big challenges was the fact we were doing all the operations in a hole 25 metres in the ground. So everything we brought in and out had to be moved in and out with cranes. There's also cantilevered roofs over, over the head wall, so we had to have a second lot of cranes down in the sump so that we could get equipment up and into the uh, head wall area. It was quite awe-inspiring being involved with such massive machines, big cranes, a 2,500 tonne TBM spun around 180 in such a small area. It's quite awe-inspiring. Being able to turn the TBM around is important to the project in that we're able to drive the first tunnel, turn the TBM around and drive the second tunnel. Otherwise, we'll have to spend money and time in either taking the TBM apart and taking it back to the south or getting a second TBM. It's unusual to see a TBM turn around just because of the pure size of it. Two and a half thousand tons of machinery to turn around in a small area, it's not normally done. The turnaround of the TBM was very tight. We only had 150 millimetres, or six inches, clearance between the end of the screw and some of the concrete structures of the NAT structure. The New Zealand sheep industry played a huge part in turning the TBM around. We used a lanolin-based grease, which is made from sheep's wool, to lubricate the bottom of the cradle, to slide the TBM around and get her lined up back for the northbound tunnel drive. The turnaround of the TBM was really successful because it was done ahead of time, under budget, safely and with a great team ethic. For me personally, I take a lot of pride and satisfaction in the teamwork shown to turn the TBM around and get the northbound tunnel drive underway.